What up, G? Excited for this one. We've got the uh, the G box here. So excited to share this one. I've been waiting to try it out. Let's get into it. Hashtag it. G box get wet. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So what we have here. We've got one box, two box. So this is the G box. This is the adult version. There's a junior version, I believe, as well. All right, so we've got a pretty simple setup here. Uh, instructions, where you're gonna wanna go is actually to George Gankis website, or actually not website, YouTube channel. So they're gonna have the directions on how to put this on. But they also have some drills there. I'll check those out and let you know what those look like. But uh, Let's just take a look again what you got. So you got your belt that you're gonna put on. Uh, so pretty simple, which I like. It's, I mean, it's as easy as just wrapping it around, putting it on. So, you know, another thing I like to see in a training aid is, can you do it on your own? How easy is it for you to do this on your own? Also, how easy can you get it on and off? Like, are, is it one of these training aids that, like I've gotta take five, six, seven, eight minutes to put it on? And uh, so far it doesn't seem that way. The boxes that you got here, this one with the line, this one's gonna go in the front. So this goes on the lead side. So we'll try it out here in a sec, and then the one that's at blank goes on the trail side. Um, we'll try it out. I can imagine this is gonna be the part that's a little tricky, because where these boxes go do matter. So we wanna get those aligned. So I think that's gonna be where a little practice is helpful in getting it set up. But again, biggest thing I'm excited, does it help you achieve getting better with your golf swing we're gonna find out let's do it all right so we're G boxed up so we've got this all set up pretty simple to put on you know probably have to practice a little bit you know and actually I could use the camera make sure these are on right so you're gonna see front side we've got this line right here that's supposed to be right on the front side of your seam line seam line being your shirt line as you're going down, shirts typically have that seam that runs right on the side, so you're looking for that. Now this backside one, we're checking it out. I probably could go back a little further, okay, is getting it on, you want the front part of the box on the back side of that seam line, okay? So I think that's pretty good. So definitely a little bit of trial and error in setting these up you know, probably a little easier to have somebody put it on you. But I think it's a little practice. If you can get it set up correctly and then you can keep the boxes on, that's probably all right. So we're set up, ready to go. So again, a lot of drills that we can look at. I just, you know, for me, the big thing I wanna look at is how much is this gonna help me turn in my swing? As I go back, my goal is to start seeing this white line get where it's in the middle of my body if I was looking at it from a face on view. So I'd look at it and be something like this. So, you know, for me right now, that feels like a ton of turn. Uh, you know, it's basically trying to get that pointed at the ball and then you would see this back box get all the way behind if we were looking at it from a behind view. But let's see, let's see what we got. Feels pretty good. I mean, I'm not really hitting the boxes, so I mean, it makes me feel really good. I, I mean, a big focus on trying to turn. I can already feel it in my back a little bit. So like, you know, just, just from one of those senses that, you know, I'm using muscles I didn't use a whole lot before. So that's probably a good thing. But I like the feedback for somebody that is doing this, you know, that hasn't ever turned before. I think I could get on board with this, showing people what it's like to get it turning. Now, if, if you go higher, the harder it would get. I could see that, but uh, the lower you go with the belt, the easier it gets. We're gonna have to mess around with it a little bit because, I mean, I like to think I got a decent swing. I'm gonna take a look at these swings that we just captured on video, but um, I'd be interested to see how it changed things as we go. But, uh, I mean, it feels good. Really simple, once again, that set up a little bit. You gotta get used to it and putting these boxes on because where they go are really, really important but uh 
Yeah, as far as simple, being able to hit golf balls, kind of like it, kind of like it. We'll see how we get on board with it, see how, how my club speed goes as I start doing this more. All right, let's give it one more. Get a good fresh one out here. Hit them pretty good, feel pretty decent. Maybe I'm gonna be Gucci. All right, so there it is. I am gonna check those out. Uh, we're gonna hit some more balls with this. We're gonna get the big dog out with it too, I think the driver, but to be honest, that felt pretty good. Like I said, I can already feel it. New muscles in my back and like my torso being used because I haven't been using them like I showed you on my swing earlier. I mean, the amount of turn I was getting was laughable. So this is the tool I was really excited to see and try because you know, I wanted more of that. So that was perfect. Did I think it was easy to use? Yeah, felt like it was easy to use. Now I was very conscious. I already knew what I needed to do. So getting everything to work out properly wasn't too difficult for me, um, other than maybe just feeling a little different. So I think that helps. I'd be interested to try this with some students and see what they, how it works for them, how easy it is. But you know, what I do like is, without having any help. If you never brought a camera, you didn't have a second set of eyes out there, I would be able to achieve what you're supposed to achieve by getting this line, let's say, turning towards the ball or to the middle of your body from a front-facing camera position. I could do that. I was able to do that, I think. And then this box going behind you, again, you could do that. I think you could really do that. I also like when you're using these, you could actually get an idea for some tilts, how this one should point more down to the ball with your rib cage, uh, where this one might be a little bit higher on the backside. I think that would be good too. So, you know, you could start looking at some of that stuff as well. I think overall, again, not a training aid that guides you too much. It makes you actually have to swing the golf club and do some things correctly on your own. I'm not a huge fan of training aids that move you to positions all the time. I don't need to use those all the time because you're not really learning how to move in those positions. You know, if something's just taking you somewhere, I think sometimes you can struggle when you have to take the training aid off and then you go from there. Now, the other thing I like to look at is, are we creating any more issues by using the training aid? So far again, no, I don't think by just using this, you're gonna create other issues in your swing. So I've seen that with other training aids where you may have you make a move, but then you have to be very careful because when you use that training aid, something in particular happens and you have to be very careful that another problem doesn't arise. Again, I don't see that necessarily happening here at all. You're just gonna have to combine a couple of good mechanics elsewhere in your swing to go along with learning how to move and turn the G-boxes. So again, Think it's gonna be worth it? Yeah, I think people could really get better using this, understanding how their body moves. Definitely think it's worth it, and I'm happy to keep trying it, trying it with some students, and seeing how my game goes as well with distance, club head speed. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. I'll post all that up as we're using the G-Box, let you know how it's all working for you. So, again, if you like this video, if you like the reviews, please leave us a comment down below. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Click that subscribe button if you like the video. Got our vlog from Aaron Hills, Whistling Straits. We're heading out to Arizona. We're gonna be with Golfletics. We're gonna be with Matt Brooks, who is out at Superstition Mountain Golf Club. A couple other instructors. We're gonna be doing some videos. They're gonna help me with my game because I need it right now. So make sure you don't miss out on those videos. Click that subscribe button. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.